Hello everybody, Razvan is my name, welcome back to Gothic 2 Live Edition, the hardcore one. In today's episode we are going to go with Lares to the Water Mages and bring them the, the ornament. Because we have to earn I some experience. He will find someone to relieve you. Ah, very good. Then we can finally leave here. You had better keep my aquamarine ring for now. I assume it will come in handy for you until you get your own. Yeah, it can be handy. Okay, let's go. Where? To take the ornament. If we go to Onar's farm, then it might bug. I don't know if in this version it bugs. Normally it bugs. And because we have the sprint mode, it's going to be a bit faster. And his aquamarine ring, it's very useful to get some free experience. You can sleep at Orlans for free if you wear it and tell them. And you do not tell them that you belong to the Ring of Water. You just tell them why are you looking at my ring, and then you will get the experience. Then there is Ga Gan, the hunter. He will give you also experience, and that's it. Well, Baltram, of course, he gave you also the experience. Only the okay. What are you doing? So this idea with the doors is a bit bugged, but he managed it. He is good. He is good. He can do it. So there is a trick that we can use and have him kill the orc and then we have a free teleport, which I believe we are going to do it. Yeah, we have to because we are weak and we might have to use a teleport. I don't think there are teleport runes in this version of the game. So. Now that we're no longer in town and cannot be overheard, let me tell you a little more. He's we nice and hidden. We're now take this ornament that you brought me back to Satyrus. You remember Satyrus, don't you? Certainly. More he experience. The, of the water mages in the new camp. We lads from the former new camp still have good relations with the water mages. Even Lee will still protect the water mages against any danger today if it's within his power. To keep up the contact with the water mages, I'm in town most of the time, working together with Vatris. And this is the armor that is issued to each of us by the water mages. The members of the Ring of Water have been wearing such armor since before the Orc Wars. What is Cavalorn's part in this? He wasn't a follower of the new camp as far as I know. You are right. Our community has grown. Even I do not know how many there are by now. But let us move on. I want to get further away from the city. We can talk more about it later. We can give him a healing potion. He should be immortal, I believe. So we are going to, to lure the orc outside of the cave. Then we have a free cave. And when we are going to the mercenaries, we will have to get the sleeping spells, the freezing ones to, to be able to beat them because they are quite strong. So. We got some scrolls, there are some meat bugs that we can kill, but first it's only important that we get the orc. So, Ucha Chachu, come. It's a cheap move, but hardcore, we have to use all the tricks that we... Ooh, that was close. Laris is not going to move away because he's, this is his first uh, checkpoint that we we activate and he will stay here. What was that? Okay, there is no more quick loot. Oh, because of the weapon, sorry. Okay, so... Actually, you can pull what we got hit somehow. Let's move on. Stay close behind me. Yeah, we got hit once. Weird. But that's how you can lure all the enemies around him. But that's not fun if he kills everything for us. Only the orb because he is in a bad position for us. And luckily, those things he can kill for us. That's why we didn't venture ourselves here
Yeah, he seems immortal. I don't know why we can give him a potion. We need a raw meat. 120. Okay, he is not immortal. He almost dies from a mall rat. Yeah, the game got really hard in this version. Lots of goodies here. Yeah, we are not going to go into the cave. The the molarets are hard. And we are going to talk with the Errol when we come back here. So, first we have to go to the water What's mages. Wrong? Are you still holding up? Let's move on. He would wait here Stay also that you can, could pull everything to him, but... As I said, no need to pull everything. Just the things that are in our way. I'm staying out of it. Come here, you filthy beast. Yeah, you tell him. So much for Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Nothing there. Only one meat? Wasn't they supposed to give us two? Two parts of meat? Yeah, only one part of meat. Okay. We have to live with it. It's hardcore, I forgot. Here we have Tragomir that we're going to talk to him later on. Get some skins from there and a bow with some arrows. First we we have to get the way cleared. Thanks to Lares. Oh. Okay, we might have to help him, but so much for you. Yep, very nice. I didn't save. Going to do it now. Yep, hit them above your head. The aggro range is going to be so hard. Okay, that was quite risky. At the next waypoint, two of the wolves. Where is the other goblin? There he is. And one more. Yeah, as you can see, they're, they are very hard. Even Lars is half held. So that means you cannot really pull everything to him. Don't you break down on me now. Okay, we have to heal ourselves. And this is a nice and uh, way of stopping us to pull everything, to lure everything to him. Because as you can see, he's not immortal. We can give him some health, but still, not worth it. Stop blabbing. Let's move on. Stay close behind me. We are almost there. Once there, it's going to be quite hard to to beat the goblins because they are skeleton goblins. And Lars is not that strong to pull everything to him around there. I mean, the, everything there. The thing is that we have to... We have to pray to the statue also for extra stats. But for that, of course, you need gold. Which I think I, I, we are going to start doing that. We have to pray because later on it's going to be harder and harder. And as a mercenary, we lose the mana. I don't know if it's important, but still. Okay, he has held himself. Not a lot of goodies here. Oh, some scrolls, leather satchel, okay. Probably there are more, but hidden, so... This is also another waypoint where he stops. So we are not going to pull the goblin skeletons to him. We are going to do them ourselves. Okay. 
the water majors are all beside themselves. They've been all over the moon. An excavation site in the northeast for weeks. It's anybody's guess what they're trying to find there. It all started when the earth began trembling like it did in the worst times of the barrier. Horrible stone creatures emerged from the ground, slaying everyone who went within a hundred feet of them. The water mages took the matter in hand and destroyed those hostile invaders. And now they're digging down there, searching for an explanation for these strange events. But you will soon see for yourself. Yep, let's go. Oh, I forgot to tell him. Let's move on. Let's move on. Stay close behind me. Luckily he can kill stuff for us. Are we far away from it? Leveling up? Hmm. A bit far away. We have to, to pump up our dexterity to be able to one-shot lots of the critters. Oh, plants. I've now the raw plants seem to be quite bad now in this version. All the things that we can collect from here, we are going to do it when we are alone. We can hear the shadow beast. Can you still go on? Actually, if you are going to stop here, then yeah, let's collect some stuffs. Normally here is a, a giant rat. Probably it's spawning when we are done with last uh, Lares. Lots of plants. We want to go to the part where we have seen some some sort of stones because there are some more goodies we have to remember we need a lot of money weapons weapons summer here should be a dragon root did we get it what's new nope we didn't get a dragon root i think there is one right Oh, dragon root. Okay, we got it. Yeah, I was right. There was one. And now there is a very good crossbow here. Oh, the shadow beast. Makes such nice noises. So here is a crossbow. A very good one. You can get one also when you go to the Nicholas up there. But you have to stop to fight the scavengers or just run and pick it up but this one is very good oh they improve it 80 dexterity 80 strength we only have one ice block for a strong enemy we need more and we have a long sword a lot of strength needed for it and we are not going to play strength yeah, character yeah. let's move on stay close behind me but because we are going to have to fight with lots of skeletons, we might have to learn to brew the strength potions. And yeah, they did remove the stone tablets from the game, so... That is... a bit annoying, because we might have to waste a lot of LP to learn the language for the... for the quest for nothing in Jarkandar. One less monster... Okay, here is going to be dangerous, right? Lots of plants. Right. It could get dangerous here. Let's move on. Keep back a little. Oh, I sure will, though. Snappers. Okay. We cannot help him because... Oh, he can one-shot some of them, okay. Oh, we did a crit hit, okay. We had a crit hit. There are more lizards and some rabbits. Uh, not rabbits. There are no rabbits in this game. In this version of the mod, probably. There are some other mods with... Who has the rabbit so now if you don't talk to him and you just lure monsters around then he's going to kill them for you otherwise he's just going to piss off to the city again we're here here take the ornament 
The water mages must be in there somewhere. Take it to them. If you should meet any beasts down in that hole in the ground that look like they're too much for you, flee forward to Satyrus. He'll take care of the beast for you. I need to go back. And one more thing. Don't even think about strolling around for long with this ornament. Go directly to Satyrus. See you. Yep, see you. So we have his ring. We don't need a ring. We only need it for the experience. So not experience, sorry. Actually the strength we don't really need. We need a mana to be able to to shoot more fireballs. Giant rats. Look how many there are. Oh, trembling. Yep. Why would you hit? Ah, so close to one shot them. Yep, it's right in front of you. What do the rats have to eat on the. on a stone? Henchman. We hear the... That wasn't even close, right? Do we have something to eat that we don't really need? I hope he's not trying to... to reach us. Where is the blue welder? Oh, it looks different now. Okay. And of course the bug with the arrows. We need all the arrows so we cannot really just let them. Giant rat, another one. There are two of them. Yep. The aim is so great. So, we have no fireball or we didn't equip any fireball. Okay, we have six of them. We can only shoot two at once. Not at once, but goblin skeleton 175. And fire arrow would be a thing. Okay. It has to be fireball, the fire arrow did no damage and we have to stop, I don't know, lagging? It's not really a lag, it's just my stupidity. So that's not a smart move, we should have had more health, but maybe we can, we can annoy them to that, even though they are already dead. Yep, they, they are pushing in this version. One more hit please, okay. So we have to just time it because they, they simply keep pushing us. So another fireball we can toast. We just have to connect. We have to be also careful with the range. Okay, there is one. Yeah, of course, get all, all three of them. We can two-shot one goblin. Is there another way to reach them? Because, well, we have to test it. I have to test it. If they reset, do their health reset also if it's not oh the lasers i keep hearing them i hope they are not aiming at us we do not need to, to get eaten by them oh boy this is not good and the bow probably does nothing because yeah, so 
Do we have a summon? We have no summon, right? We have a freeze. We can use a destroy undead, but ice arrow is weak. What did we hit? Oh, we cannot. We cannot two shot them, but why? All oh, right, it's doing only seventy five percent. Okay, we have to just find a way to kill them. Imagine here. Yeah, for some reason I I press the button and nothing is happening. We need to get on high ground and hopefully arrow them. Okay, there is one. Yep. How perfect could that be? How perfect could have that been? Unbelievable. Why can't we get up here? Nope. Okay, he managed to those one hit. That would have been good if we wouldn't land right on the goblin skeleton down there. So, second try. Oh boy, where are you going? Okay. One is back down there and one shadow beast. Yeah, I don't know how how can we do it? Why is the f the fireball not killing them? We can go to the magicians and have them kill them for us. And that costs 100 coal. Actually, I don't know if it's a smart idea. With 250, we can simply kill them. What about here? Can we jump here? Nope. I hear one. That was a full health guy. Okay, this was good. This was very really good and unplanned. So we need more health. Okay, fireball three more. But one of them should be almost dead. We need to experience 160 is a lot too. Simply waste it. Oh, we can lure them. Okay. Actually, why didn't we try to do that from the beginning and not waste the good oh, gold, good fireballs on them? Yeah, that's the last one, finally. So when it's not lagging or not doing whatever it is trying to do it's going quite good so now we can go to to the water mages and see what they do have to tell us satras might be very pleased to see us here stone sentinels oh we cannot 
quick loot them. Nothing to be had there. Probably the one in the beginning has also an old coin. The old coin is very good for Vasily. As a NPC, a member of the owners, farmers that gives us gold. Get out of here. It's too dangerous and experience. To for a would-be adventurer. But say, don't I know you? Of course you bastard. Don't think that I could have forgotten how you betrayed us in the new camp. We didn't do that, did I? Did we? Got electrocuted. Do not smirk at them. Don't do it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it was for a good cause. You drained our mound of ore of all magic power and then simply disappeared. What exactly did you think you were doing? Well, what was we doing? Your plan wouldn't have worked anyway. Blowing up the barrier with the ore mound is the biggest nonsense I ever heard. Ultimately, you would have blown yourselves sky high. That is the limit. Who gave you the right to judge us and our intentions? If I were not such a peaceful man, I would bring down the wrath of Adonos on you, my boy. Do you have the slightest idea what you have done? You have confused the structure of magic so much that it could be heard back in Corinus. Count yourself lucky that the Corinus is right next to the Valley of Mines. You should know what that, are you complaining about? It all worked out all right. Mind your tongue. What the blazes do you want here anyway? I came here with Lares. Lares? Really? Where is he? I'm alone. Lares He's with went Nadia. To the city. What? And he sent you to us alone? What was he thinking? I brought your ornament. What in all the world is that supposed to mean? Who gave you that? Don't tell me that Lara simply handed it over to you. Come off it now. I brought it to you. You do want it, don't you? Certainly. But it disturbs me that you have your hand in the game once again. Why are you making such a big deal about that old business with the ore mound? After all... I already worked for you back then, and you can't say that I was unreliable. Uh, and what did it ultimately get me? You were free of the Just barrier, dude. Don't think Be thankful. I, trust you. I want to join the Ring of Water. What? How do you know about that? Who? Lares. I will kill him. He has broken our first rule. Speak to no one about the Ring of Water. I don't know what I should say. I only trust you where I can keep an eye on you. It was Vatras who told me about the ring. That's also a lie. It was Cavalier, dude. Wonderful. Of all the water mages on the island, you run into the one who doesn't know you. I'm warning you, don't do anything stupid this time. I'll make an effort. <laughs> Why is this ornament so important to you? It is the key to a portal. I shall not tell you more. What are you doing down here? These halls conceal ancient secrets. Mysterious secrets. The inscriptions and murals indicate a very ancient culture. Everything you can see here is written in a language completely unknown to us. We are only just beginning to learn it and grasp its meaning. Since there's no way of stopping you from keeping the other mages from doing their work, you might as well take a message from me to one of them. Tell Riordian that I wish to see him here. He's in the rear part of the vault. You will find him there. Okay, can you tell us anything else? Can oh. you teach me anything about magic? So that you can once again interfere with the magical structure? No, I have no time for such games. I mean, so to play the magician, but probably in the other version of something else. Probably we should do it playing the other versions. Nostalgic version I never played. The returning. There are some couple mods that we we can enjoy together. Hey, you. What are you doing? 
I'm studying the culture of the ancient people. Based on the inscriptions, they lived long before our time. I don't know exactly when they erected these halls, but their civilization was highly developed. They built a city on the other side of the mountains and a temple for Adonos. Adonos. A lost city on the island of Corinus? Yes. Until now, we lived in the belief that we knew the whole island. We assumed that the entire northeast of the island was one enormous mountain range. But we were wrong. Behind these mountains lies a valley. The city of the ancient people was located there. So weird that you know uh, that there is a wa valley. Why is not a mountain? City, but they have probably fallen to dust long ago. Vatras gave me this amulet of the searching will of the wisp. Ah, a rare artifact. You can use it to train the will of the wisp. Or just you sell it for that? money. Can you help me with that? Gladly. I've worked with this sort of magic for a long time. How old do you think this place is? Well, I still can't say exactly, but it must be several hundred years old. Show me how to train my will of the wisp. What should your will of the wisp search for? Yeah, it costs LP, so. Saturas wants to see you. Has he gotten further with his investigation? Then I will go to him immediately. If you want to learn more about this complex, talk to Nefarious. You'll find him farther back in these vaults. Okay, so. We have three able tobacco. The ring we don't need anymore. We have three chests, tower key. Oh, Valentina, okay, and another tower key. Crossbow we cannot equip. We have a orc axe. Yeah, okay. So let's talk to the other other mages and see what they offer us. There is also one that gives us a quest with some teleport stuff. Old stone tablet. As I said, we need 25 or 24 of those. That's the first I've heard of it. Yeah, it cannot be quick loot. No clue why. Telling you anything new. Hey. May I bother you for a moment? Already it's doing you. it. I never thought I'd see your face again. It's very brave of you to show up here. There was a time we would have skinned you alive. You can be glad that was a few weeks ago, and we've all calmed down. The earthquakes, they are so loud. What are you doing here? My task is to find out more about the guardians of the temple. That is a tough nut, let me tell you. These stone sentinels have a characteristic that is utterly foreign to me. One moment they're standing around completely lifeless, and the next they're attacking you like they're possessed. I still haven't been able to determine their driving power. But one thing is sure, it is of magical origin. Tell me more about these stone sentinels. I can't tell you much so far. Unfortunately, we have had to destroy them. Now, they aren't dangerous. When we came here, they attacked us. We could only defeat them with our combined power. And I'm afraid there are even more waiting for us behind the portal. There must be a way to banish their driving force so that they remain nothing more than statues. We have to kill them for experience. Equipment. Why not? If I remember correctly, we've already done business. Tell me what you need. So you're not mad at me anymore. That's very good. This is also a good spell. Dust Devil, this is also very important because it kind of stuns the people, but during this you cannot crit them so oh they're not moving anymore busy these vaults are one big mystery for me it's hard to imagine that no one else found them before now we were able to uncover the entrance without difficulty people are so occupied with their daily routine that no one looked more closely at this structure I have no other explanation for it what is your task here I'm oh, trying no, to find going out where this round portal leads Besides that, I helped the Thalus look for a missing ornament. It is certain that this portal leads to another part of the island that we do not yet know. I 
can't remember ever having heard or read about that. You really want to go through the portal? Of course. Assuming we find that missing ornament, that is. I admit, it is a somewhat risky business. But we must absolutely find out what it has to do with these constant earthquakes. What do you know about the earthquakes? Something on the other side is causing them. The source is probably also causing the stone sentinels to awaken. But that isn't my job. Saturus and Kronos can tell you more about that. Kronos, he doesn't want to tell us much. What do you think you will find over there? I'm really not sure. I suspect that on the other side there will be a structure similar to this one, and a counterpart to this portal. Everything else we shall see when we get there. What is the fastest way back to the city? And that's how we get I the quest. I recommend you go back the same way you came. Hmm, but you could also... No, that would be too dangerous. Out with it. Well, the builders of these halls had their own method of traveling. As far as we can tell, they could teleport. That's nothing special. The teleporter stones that we found here in Corinus are special indeed. It seems as though the teleporter stone here in these halls may lead to the harbor city. However, none of us had the courage. That's such to try a weird it. assumption. How would he know that it's actually really Where is this going to the border stone? There is a door in the, the city of Corinus bring us locked it up behind there. What if I were to try to use it? No idea. We know too little about it. It is possible you wouldn't survive. Give me the key. You know that I'm we are brave. Take a look at this thing. Really? But I take no responsibility for it. Give it here. If you say so, here it is. Where are the other teleporter stones? So far, we've only found one other somewhere in the middle of Corinus, near the Dead Harpy Tavern. Can you teach me anything about magic? Once we're over there, I'll be at your disposal. Only if we are fire magicians, then Nothing there. he's going to teach us. So, nothing here. It's too far away. Can we do anything with this? Nope. Nothing important. So, we have mixed hey, here. You. How much will the language Everything all right? cost us? It's very us? brave of you to just walk in here. What are you doing here? I'm studying the language of the builders. The language is the key to understanding the ancient people. Each one of us must learn it, or this expedition will be over before it even begins. The builders use stone tablets to pass on their knowledge. Unfortunately, many of them are broken or were stolen long ago. Who stole them? Can you teach me to read the language? Well, why not? I'll gladly pass on my knowledge to you. How much? Oh, we have no hey. experience, uh, no learn points, so. Teach me that language. We'll start with something easy. To begin with, I can teach you the language of the peasants. As a rule, texts written in the language of the peasants deal with worldly matters such as work, love, or obtaining food. It was the common language of the city. You will be able to understand most of the text found here if you know it. You already know the language of the peasants. The language of the warriors is somewhat harder. Texts written in the language of the warriors okay. mostly deal with weapons and war. You will learn some useful things there. Above all else, the holy scriptures which explain the history and magic of the creators are written in the language of the priests. Each of these texts is a real treasure. If one understands their meaning, go and test your new knowledge. You will see that the scriptures of the builders okay, are so no longer that makes an unsolvable sense. mystery for it you. It costs us no LP. Teach me that language. There is nothing more that I... Yeah, because it's not needed anymore. It makes no sense to, to keep learning it. To spend LP because there are no stone tablets. It's only needed for the core hodron. In Charkandar. So we have one more water mage and then we can do their quests.
it's going to be very hard to get the ornaments. How's it going? What are you doing here? This is certainly a surprise. I thought you had been killed. Almost. There was quite a fuss about you, you know that? I hardly recognize Satyras. He was so beside himself about that business back then. What sort of portal is that? We suspect that it leads to the Lost Valley, where the ancient culture must have had their city. But the stone behind the portal is made of massive rock, yards thick. Also, there are no signs of teleportation magic. Very mysterious. Do you know how to activate it? One of the missing ornaments seems to be a sort of magical key. We'll need it to get any further. It has to fit exactly into the ring-shaped hollow next to the portal. I brought a part of the ornament. Really? That's terrific! Do you have any idea where the other parts are? According to the ancient inscriptions, it was broken into four pieces. And it looks as though the parts are still to be found on the island. With Merdarian's help, I have translated some of the inscriptions. There are hints as to where the remaining pieces are. Here, I've marked some of the places on this map. Look around there. You should pay attention to old structures. They might be somewhat deteriorated and no longer clearly recognizable. It could be almost anything. A large rock, a stone circle, a mausoleum, or something similar. But what am I saying? <laughs> You'll find it. Well, good luck. Why was the ornament broken? Whoever did it wanted to prevent the portal from ever being opened again. The longer I stare at the inscriptions, the more I realize that the priests of the ancient culture really were no fools. And why do we there try to open the portal? That they made the region back there inaccessible. We don't know what awaits us there, but it certainly isn't anything good. So yes, they do not trust us, but they want well, us to. Well find the most important pieces of their mission while they stare here, all of them. Makes total sense. So, we are going to prepare us to go to Kurinis and do their quests. The one for the water mages, we have to supply ourselves with more things. And we will have to... to go to the forest with Lares. He will help us again. to get the ornaments, the missing ornaments. We are not going to be able to finish this quest until we, we can get to Lord Hagen, so... And we can get there only after we are joining a faction, so... I guess we are going to make an end. Let's try the wolf and then we will end it. Okay, we can two shot them. So, as you can see, here was the wolf that we we lured to Lars to kill it next to the city. Otherwise, we would have to be quite fast and run. Okay. We got some things. Not bad. So, I guess I'm going to, to end the video here. We did some progress. We managed to see some part of the Corinis. We are going to go to the city finish the quest that we have and then probably we will visit Orlan and two more quests so I guess thank you very much guys for joining me I'll see you in the next episode be cool and bye bye